Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Nole, and today we're gonna be playing some Dragon Blaze. Now I'm really looking forward to our last three trans heroes. Especially to see how everybody else's like teams are built when they once they come out. Because I know some people are getting Bell, so I actually wanna see who's gonna be used more. Margaret or Bell in like people's personal teams. Um as for me, I'll probably get Bell in season five, so yeah, she's gonna be weighted off just a little bit. Probably gonna get Till in season five too. I'm probably just gonna just focus on Helios right now and just get her to ultimate. Then I'll probably work towards them, maybe. But as of right now, yeah, I'm gonna be saving up for the trans into like season five. Helios is almost there. She just needs five more. All right. So what are we doing today? I know today's arena, and today's golem. Then yeah. I actually wanted to try a team without Landy. Really depends on who I actually want to change out though. Cause I could take another buffer. Hmm. Let's try it with Raven Gale. Cause I know sooner or later I'm gonna have to you know, put Landy to the side. Because she can't be in, like, every last team I have. So I gotta get used to having her, like, on the sidelines. And I gotta definitely build a team up that doesn't need to, like, focus around her every time. Uh, actually, we're doing a lot better without her. Not bad. But yeah, I hope some of you guys enjoyed the stream last night. We did a nine-hour stream just to celebrate Hollow's uh, affiliation with Twitch. Now he has his sub button. I'll also put down his uh, Twitch in the description if you guys want to check him out. He plays a lot of games on stream. Most of them are shooters. He mostly plays COD. He rages a lot on COD and other games, so that's quite enjoyable to watch. Yeah, I said it. If you're watching this video, I said it. He also plays a little bit of PUBG. There could be like sometimes I would play with him or be in his chat and just talk with him a little bit. It mostly depends on the situation, but overall just give him a chance. He's actually a pretty nice dude. I should have replaced Landy like so long ago. Jeez. Even though she was like saving up a lot of my damage, but she's also a healer. And she adds on to that whole survivability thing. So these guys could be dying sooner or later without a healer. That's the only issue. Once I get Landy to max, she, she would be more valuable, but since she's base right now, she's not really all that great to have. Alright, we're heading into three minutes, and we're still passing our score at a good time. Now that I think about it, most of the time I would want to use Landy is for bosses that actually start removing buffs. That's the only time I would actually want to bring her. Since the Golem doesn't remove any buffs that I know of, it would probably be best to go with a team without her. So, yeah, this worked out a lot better. But like I said, I'm kind of worried about survivability right now. Seems like Helios is giving out some way better shields now. And Margaret tend not more, like, invisibility now and then. I mean, Helios can actually take a hit now. That's the best part. Once I get her to ultimate, she's going to get that bonus to where she gives everybody bonus stats and higher skill damage, which is definitely going to be really great to have. Uh, Helios could be dying here. Up, oh, nope. She is not wanting to die at all. She changed her mind. And plus, not only that, Margaret still summons landing now and then, so 
that's another thing I don't have to really worry about. It's just that I got a whole power and she is like with me. I mean, normally Helios would be dead right now, but she's hanging in there. I still hate the whole getting tacked behind invisibility delay. But I'm pretty sure we got a higher score. Hopefully they can live into six minutes. Then I can compare. Alright, so it seems like we've reached higher than seven minutes with Landy. Alright, we have a survivor here. She's just going to keep going as long as she wants. We're just going to sit here and let her. For sure she'll die by stun sooner or later. Oh, that immunity is, is real good right now. I do have a couple of immunity gears on my archers, and that's why she's avoiding all the stuns. But once she gets stunned, she should be dead. Alright, seven minutes. Alright, there we go. No, no, I'm pretty sure we're lacking. We're gonna try and compare now. Yep, she's still the highest. Oh, that was my highest damage. Okay. That, look, that went a lot better than I thought it would. My highest divide with Landy and the team is 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Hmm. There's definitely an increase in like damage, but survivability goes down quite a bit. So Landy is still kinda needed. Kinda. Can't say she's like fully needed though. So I can still do good without her. It's just that survivability is gonna suffer a little bit. Alright, let's head on over to battle and arena. Alright, got my team. I'm ready to go. Up, oh, hold up. Let's auto. Wait. Have I tried out Winlu inside of Arena before? I don't think this is the first time. Pretty sure it's not. Let's get some good points here. Hopefully we can stay in the top 5% like always. I mean, last week was successful. Hopefully this week is too. I think 5% is the thing everybody should aim for, at least. Especially get all your points early while there aren't a whole bunch of high levels in yet. There's still going to be a whole bunch of high levels, but not like right away. So it's good to get in there like bright and early as soon as it starts. Alright, get the Storm Bear out of there. Stormbear is just as hateable for me as Death Crown is. This person only has one trans. Oh yeah, I've noticed some people are starting to build the um, the Archer Titan as well. Mostly just because I think he was pretty good on like chapter 5 for a while. I think he did some really good damage in there. I saw a lot of people in Korean version like use them. Oh wait, I have auto call on? Could have sworn I took that off. Oh yeah, I was autoing one night and I left it on. Okay. That makes sense.
Everybody was talking about getting Gala as their um, free trans for whenever the free selector for trans comes out. And I'm in that same boat because Gala is like really amazing. She's she's a real killer. Trans Gala is like amazing. Trans Gala, when she's ultimate, she just becomes like a powerhouse. That's exactly why I want to get her. Like, I've been thinking about getting her since she was released, but the thing is, I was thinking to myself, do I actually want to put in the time and effort into Ragnarok, of all things? Like, think about that. Putting all that effort into Ragnarok. For it to just sit there. And never use it at all. I don't, I'm pretty sure we all went with the right choice and avoided. I think you need Ragnarok for, um... Yeah, you need Ragnarok for King Graham, too. I mean, King Graham is another character I'm definitely not building. The man's just literally a meat shield. N nothing more from that point. Oh my god, Kamel, please die. I think we should be good, though. Alright, good. Next. As for Snow, I think she's going to be pretty good in PvP. She seems like a character that will excel inside of a PvP team. Alright, it's top 15 so far. I think we're keep going for a couple of matches right now because it's like really early in the video pretty soon we'll be getting to the tougher people we're in the top like 500 right now All right, come on. A little bit faster here. All right, we're getting some decent, like, a bonus now. Hopefully. All right, a few issues had to skip. But, yeah, we actually finished uh, Guild Adventure this week. So, that's twice we finished it. But I'm really hoping it does not get buffed again, because like Mars said in, during my stream, if if <laughs> Guild Adventure gets buffed again, we're obviously cursed. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not going to win this one. Alright, keep going. But yeah, if it happens, we're obviously cursed. Like, every time we beat it, it get buffed. So fingers for crossed right here. Oh my god, it's another one. That's rare. It's rare to see one ultimate at least. I was thinking who would put all that time and effort into Mika. Alright, now we're only going up like five ranks every win. We lost our streak. Seeing all these people with Gala really makes me want it even more now. <laughs> like, come on. I'm looking forward to seeing what art people have made for the art contest. I've already looked at a few of them, but I'm pretty sure there's more people are still probably working on them right now. Okay. I mean, it's still going on to like the 20... 23rd, I think? I hate the fact that you carried Ragnarok just for her. You bastard. Oh no. 
Llewellyn, uh, can you not? Oh, no. Alright, she was killed by somebody. It wasn't even Llewellyn who killed people. Alright, there we go. Uh, can you get rid of your freaking your vulnerabilities? Thank you. Oh, Mika killed five. That's interesting. Alright, this guy had Kamel, gotta get ready. Oh, they kept the Grey Soul dead, though. Oh, wait, what are you... The point difference here. Thought I'd be fighting people with my points. Yeah, that was another thing I was wondering. Have formation updates even came in yet? Because they did have like a formation thing in like their patch. I'm gonna have to look at that. So we're gonna do one more match after this, then we're gonna wrap it up. All right, top 300 with one loss. This could be another one, who knows? summon just in case. Oh my god, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much for winning that. Great job, guys. Alright, let's go over here and check. Yeah, improved formation system. Has that already been added? That's the thing I'm curious about. I don't remember it being added. Nor do I feel like I see any changes in it. it still looks pretty much the same to me. How is he anything different so yeah I'm just wanting to like confirm that or anything if you guys know if it's already been added or what changes it like held if it was I'm going to grab this thank you all right I'm gonna leave you all with that uh, before I end off I want to know what main characters are you guys gonna go for in season 5 what are you all gonna use the most but with that said I'll see you guys next time till then peace out